Now let's consider the Shiba Inu's neck and body. The neck is of medium length, thick and muscular. The withers are high and the shoulders moderately sloping and well developed. The upper arm is of sufficient length and angulation to provide proper reach in front. The elbows are set close to the body and the forearms are straight. The legs are set perpendicular under the elbow with a slight angulation of pastern. From the front, the forelegs should form a straight line with the elbow and upper leg lying very close to the body. They should be of medium substance, appearing neither heavy nor light-boned. The chest is deep, the depth being slightly less than the distance from elbow to ground. The front feet are cat-like, round and compact. The Sheba's back is straight and level, with the loins broad and muscular. The ribs are moderately sprung, while the belly is well drawn up. The Sheba's body is hard and dry. Overall length of body is slightly longer than height at the withers. This top line is less than ideal. It has a roach rather than being straight and level. Here again is the correct top line. The tail is set high and is thick. It is carried vigorously and over the back curled or curved as a sickle. The tip of the tail should reach nearly to the hocks when let down. The hindquarters are characterized by well-muscled hind legs with a medium bend of stifle and strong hocks. The angulation of the rear assembly should be in balance with that of the front. Seen from the rear, the hocks are strong and the legs are parallel to each other, straight with strongly muscled upper thighs. Like the front feet, the rear feet are round and cat-like. 